So, I finished the Outer Wilds. I finished the DLC. Uh, <laughs> and, um, wow. <laughs> like, Outer Wilds is one of those games that I always heard lots about. Uh, I heard much praise from just everywhere across the internet. And I, I always liked Spice Games. Spice? Wow. Space Games a little bit. But I don't know. I, I, I guess I just never really looked into it much. I had other things going on. And now, so many years later, 2022, you know, I've I bought the game. Uh, the DLC was on sale for 8 bucks, but I missed the sale. But the game was that fucking good that when I went back to $22, I, I bought it. It was ridiculous how... I want to say how impactful it was, but I've got to be honest. I've, I've also been watching many, many YouTube videos of other people sharing their experience with this game. And the personal connection it's had with them, the effect that it's had on them, and... I gotta admit, I am a little bit jealous. I, I still feel I experienced the same thing that they went through, but the unfortunate thing was my cat, uh, Lucky. He was uh, sick in the vet uh, twice in 10 days. He was run over by a car when he was younger, so he's got a squished pelvis. He gets blocked up very, very easily. So, you gotta add water to his food, no dry biscuits, uh, but that wasn't enough anymore, even the laxatives. So, in about the span of 10 days, he'd rounded up costs nearing 5 grand. And, you know, we don't really have that kind of money, we had to use a lot of credit options, we, we, we will be able to afford it, but, uh... <laughs> It was <laughs> stressful <laughs> as well as painful because you wanted to help him, but, you know, you're sitting back and not taking him straight to get help because you have to talk about finances and can we afford this and having to consider the option, do we have to put him down? And that that was just too hard to consider. I, I like... From a logical, rational standpoint, you know, we've given him a good few years of life. He was meant to be dead the day that we found him. Uh, we've already spent seven, eight thousand before that five grand. So, you know, it's, it's, it's arguable that it's not super unfair to say, Hey man, you know, this cat's costing you an arm and a leg. What are you doing? Let him go. But... He's just so goddamn affectionate. He's so friendly. The headbutts that he get, he gives are so violent. And, you know, I've got two other cats, girl cats. They're relatively affectionate, but they're just nothing like Lucky. And, yeah, I really, really didn't want to let him go. So, I, I was going through all that. He's, oh, by the way, he's doing okay right now. He's got diarrhea at the moment, so we gotta readjust his meds that he's on so that, you know, he's not just diarrheaing all over the place. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it looks like he'll be okay. He's pooped since he's come home. He didn't last time. The first time he came from the vet eight days ago, so hopefully he's gonna be okay. We're gonna keep an extra close eye on him. But, yeah, the result of all that was I played this game during the height, the middle of all that stress, and... I still was amazed and captured, you know, I still had those moments where I went to, uh... Oh no, I'm forgetting the planet's name. Why am I going up to the observatory? I've already got the launch codes. Oh well, the music worked out for my little story. Alright, uh, so... Yeah, um... The, the water world... Fuck me dead, I've played this game to dead, uh, death, I've been in love with it, I've been watching so many videos, and right now I am just <laughs> frazzled <laughs> trying to think of what the name of the planet is. I'm gonna go get my, in my ship. But yeah, the, the impact, you know, I, I was kind of numb. You know, I was trying to just not hurt, I guess. And yeah... 
as a result, I feel like I definitely was more diminished in my reactions. Like, the finale, I should have been crying. I felt something close to it, but... But that's fine. I don't feel like it... Even if it did reduce my experience, theoretically, it was still so good in my numb, whacked-out mental state, stressing about my cat. Giant's Deep. I knew the word deep was in it, I just couldn't think of the second word. Yeah, Giant's Deep. The first time I went to Giant's Deep, you know, I, like, I was playing the game. I wasn't really sure how I felt about it. Uh, all the things in the observatory <clears throat> were pointing me towards Adel Rock, and I'm like, fuck that, like, I can see everything that's on it. It's a rock, and it's gonna have some information on it, like, you know, I hadn't grasped at this point what kind of game this was, so I didn't realize how useful just information and text would be. So I picked a planet in the sky, and you know which one I picked. I picked the one that you're staring at when you start the game, with that little explosion around the rim. I wanted to know what was going on there. So I made my way to Giant State. Still up here. Your orbit is hella slow. <laughs> but yeah, the first thing I did was went to Giant's Deep, and you know, at this point, I'm like, all right, this is kind of cool. Flying feels cool. I definitely remember crashing too hard into the planet at first. Uh, and yeah, I'm like, oh, can I even approach this? Oh, too late. I've gone too fast. And then that moment. You just enter the atmosphere, and you see a swirl of... I've been calling them water tornadoes. I know that's not what they are, but... They're water tornadoes, alright? That's, that's what I've been calling them the whole gameplay. And, yeah, I... I you know, just the whole... Aesthetic of Little Big... Right? Because it seems little, like, compared to what we expect a planet to be. But just how big it also feels. The power, the ter the ferocity. Uh, oh. I, I spent a good 40 minutes on this planet just checking out the islands, finding out about the ghost matter near Gabbro. And then, you know, oh, yep, I, I've got a recording of that as well. I'm pretty sure if I haven't uploaded it already, I'll upload it. But me and my girlfriend... I fell into the water, uh, and I was trying to get back on the island, and just before I was about to get on the ledge, it just picked up the island, and I was like, what? They can pick up the fucking islands? And I, that was definitely the key moment where I went, this game is going to be something else. And... You know, I, I, I won't lie, there were definitely moments I butted my head against a wall and ended up watching a video, I ended up stopping myself from doing that because I accidentally revealed how to get to the ATP by watching a completely unrelated video on Outer Wilds. So after that moment, I, I stopped looking up stuff. There was maybe one or two things I specifically googled, but you know, it was more just, I was already so stressed from the situation with Lucky that I didn't want to bash my head against a wall for too long. But in hindsight, I will admit, if I could go back and remake the decision, I absolutely wouldn't have spoiled anything. Because the moments that I did figure out, and I still had plenty of great moments that I figured out on my own, that, that satisfaction, that... Oh god, I'm so fucking clever. <laughs> a little bit of an ego stroke, but... Yeah, the use of these systems that interact with each other, just, that is the best kind of gameplay from my perspective. <sighs> and then, yeah. So, it really was an experience. I'm wondering if I should go check out the DLC level. But I finished the game. I don't really know what to do. This is my first time launching the game. I mean, you saw the memory flashback before of me staring at a ship and then flying to Brittle Hollow. Uh, 
basically halfway to flying there I decided I'll record a video and yeah so I am just kind of flying around sharing this little bit of myself because I know I'm done here uh, I never used the warp tower on the Ember Twins for Deep Giant Steep. Okay, I was going to call it Deep Nest. That's Hollow Knight. <laughs> That's why I keep forgetting how to say its fucking name. But, um. Oh, see, now I've totally forgotten what I was saying. Oh. Well. But yeah, it's my first time playing. I finished everything, the DLC. And it's a bit sad. I thought I'd launch the game and just hop in one more time. It was such a unique experience. And I, I really hope that not only Mobius Digital are able to create more experiences, even though it's kind of like, hey, I totally want new mind-blowing games like this as well. But I also want more Outer Wilds. I want I want planets to explore. I want puzzles to solve. I don't know if I want voice acting. Maybe what made it so personable was the fact that it was text and you added your own, you know, dilection in your head. But yeah, this game really is something else. I don't really have a whole lot to say about it. The back of my mind's thinking about that I've got work and I should be doing chores <laughs> so let's just crash into the sun as one last hurrah thank you so much Outer Wilds you helped me get away from just pain and that's a hard thing to do to be so interesting to be so captivating to be so deep that your cat can practically be dying and your mind can have some ease for a short while.